Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about how to surrender to the bridge of incidents for when you are manifesting or working with the law of attraction. So what is the bridge of incidents? The bridge of incidents is a term that I believe was invented by Neville Goddard, one of the OGs of the law of attraction. And basically what it means is it is the chain of events that occurs after you set an intention and put it out into the universe. Once you give that intention to the universe, the universe takes it and you're going to experience a chain of events or a bridge of incidents from the time you set the intention to the time that your manifestation becomes real in the 3D reality. So that is what the bridge of incidents is. And I'm going to give you some tools for how to surrender to it. So basically this video is going to be teaching you how to let go and how to release resistance when you are manifesting something into your life because often resistance is the greatest block for having your manifestation appear before you in your 3d reality that's often the greatest block so i gotta say you guys surrendering to the bridge of incidents is not an easy task, especially if what you are trying to manifest is so important to you and you want it so bad. You really place so much energy into this manifestation. I understand that releasing resistance, you understand that you need to do this, you understand that you need to let go intellectually, but when you actually try to do it, it's so much harder. It's so much easier said than done, right? My biggest tool that I really, it's not so much use, but I keep in mind, it's like you gotta keep a lot of things in mind, underlying and not forget. But the biggest thing that I always think is, as I've said in a previous video, it's not your business how your intention comes to you or in what way it does it's that's the universe's job so leave that up to the universe just trust the chain of events that is going to occur in order for you to experience your dreams and what you envisioned for yourself and so one of the greatest tools is cultivating trust and faith on a daily basis and every day surrendering to the power of the universe the power of your higher self and your subconscious mind surrendering to powers that you don't necessarily fully understand and the most powerful way to do this is by intentionally doing this and concentrating your 100 percent focus and effort on it so this might be in the form of a guided meditation which they're very powerful um, most people who are excellent manifestors take advantage of meditation and being in a meditative state because you're relaxed, you're open, you're more in a state of flow and you're more ready and open to receive, which is the energy that you need to be in for your manifestation to come to you, right? Another way that people get into that non-resistant surrendering state is just visualizing powerfully visualizing and you can have so much fun with this it's endless what you can do with your imagination but of course your imagination is like a muscle you have to grow it and cultivate it and use it every single day in order to strengthen it and the more that you delve into the depths of your imagination the more powerful and detailed it will become it is amazing what your mind can conjure up if you just do a daily practice of visualization every single day. And I mean visualizing yourself in the first person standing in your manifestation, feeling the sensation, smelling the smells, seeing the vividness, the detail. All of your senses are involved, hearing the sounds. It's just incredible how much you can really immerse yourself in the world that you create for yourself. That is another dimension that you're going to. It really is. It's another frequency that you're on. So hold that frequency as much as you can because when you are in that frequency, you're not in a state of lack. You're not thinking that you don't have it and you're not in a state of resistance and you are surrendering. 
So that's another fantastic exercise to take advantage of to surrender. Another way to surrender is when you take action towards your goals and your manifestations. So you take a day to day action. This is going to reinforce you being in alignment with your manifestation. And I find that when you are taking action, you're actually in a state of meditative flow because you are exactly where the universe wants you to be. And you are actually literally in the bridge of incidents when you're taking action towards your manifestations. You are on walking on the bridge of incidents. That's where the universe wants you to be. You're interacting with your higher self. You're listening to the messages from your subconscious mind or your intuition that are telling you what steps you need to take in order for your manifestations to come true. The more that you cultivate faith, the more that you exercise, surrender, do these activities, do the inner work, connect with your higher self intentionally on a daily basis, do your affirmations, visualize, take action. Every choice you make that brings you closer to the frequency that you want to be on and that transforms who you are, who you become, because remember who you are is what you manifest. You manifest what you are. So when you change who you are, your world has to change as well. It is a law. So the more you do these things, the more you change who you are at a core level. And then the universe has to follow sweet and reflect back who you are, the new version of you. Keep in mind that this is a process that you have to be patient with. It's gonna get stronger every day. Every day you're going to feel a little bit closer to your higher self. Even if things come up that make you angry or throw you off course a little bit, shake you up a little bit, which is a normal part of life, accept it, go with the flow, let the emotions run through you, but you're going to be able to get back on course much quicker. You're going to be able to be refocused much faster because you have a stronger connection with your higher self, with your intuition, with your calling and your mission here on earth. It's really difficult to put into words, but you'll notice that more and more throughout the day, moment by moment, you're gonna feel something there underneath the thoughts, the emotions, um, sort of the surface level things going on in your mind. You're gonna feel this underlying faith and trust. And you're going to know that all is well and whatever happens um, in your life is for your greater good happening for you, not to you. And you're really going to have that deep intrinsic trust. And I can't tell you how valuable this is when you you start to really feel it on, on a daily basis. I can't describe how much peace, how much tranquility, how much security, certainty, just inner knowing, and you feel like you are connected to the divine. And it's such a powerful feeling because you feel safe. You feel powerful. You feel peaceful. It's an underlying sense of peace, which is what most people actually want, is to feel peace, to feel joy, to feel fulfilled, complete. So realize that when you are constantly surrendering to the universe, constantly letting the universe know that you trust it in multiple ways and all the ways that I shared, you are strengthening that trust and faith in the universe and in the God within you. The feeling that it creates, the strength, the inner strength that it creates is very unshakable, very solid, and it's so valuable. It's so precious. You won't ever be truly shook again. Things can happen in your life that can scare you, but because you have that connection, you can overcome that fear really fast and realize that everything is happening for your greater good. These are some of the tools that I use. Another great tool is, it's not so much thinking about how something is gonna happen, just get your mind off of the how. The how will come. Just try to keep your focus and your attention and energy on the end result. Just focus on the end result, especially the feeling of it. Really um, come from the heart. How's it gonna feel in your heart when you are in the end result? 
and keep sinking into that feeling. Keep feeling that feeling. You can evoke it and at first it's going to be difficult to bring up feelings of gratitude and of happiness, joy and fulfillment if you're not familiar with these feelings and if you're not familiar with um, working with your heart chakra, it's going to be weird, awkward, and difficult at first. But again, like anything, the more you do it, the more you practice, the better you're going to get at it. And you're going to be able to do it for longer periods of time, more throughout the day. And it's going to be much easier for you to sink into that feeling of true gratitude, fulfillment, and wholeness, what you're going to feel when your manifestation comes true. It's going to be much easier to slip into that frequency. So just keep practicing, keep going, keep doing your exercises, keep doing the work and it will become easier and easier and easier and you're going to trust more and more and more. You'll notice that throughout the day you'll be vibing higher, you'll be feeling better, you'll be more in a state of flow and you really will be more in a state of surrender and letting go. And this is the best part you guys, you're just going to feel good, you're just going to feel good all day. All day you'll feel good and you'll have in your mind, you know that your manifestation is coming to you. You know the universe is bringing it to you and you're just taking action towards it and it's true inspired action and it's not work anymore. It's fun. It's playful. It's easy. It's effortless. That's how it's going to feel. You're going to really be in that state and when you're in that state, you are in true alignment. That is real alignment. And when you were there, you have surrendered to the bridge of incidents. You truly surrender to it. And just watch what the universe is going to do. Watch the synchronicities. Watch the people that are going to come to you. Watch the messages that are going to come to you. You will really be in a frequency of receiving. And it's going to feel so good. Okay, guys, I hope that this helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.